any of our events mm. that we have coming up. So we're gonna box. Hold on. I gotta grab a cookie from my cookie. <laughs> she is so <laughs> gross. Mmm. <laughs> Welcome to Mukbang Mondays. I'm your favorite flavor, G Spot Great. And second favorite, Creamy Caramel. So funny as shit. So Whitney used your um, line when we uh, when we did our Mukbang. I was like, yeah, Creamy's gonna get you. She was like, and I'm your second favorite flavor, Whitney White Chocolate. And I was like, oh Whoa yeah, there. Creamy's gonna <laughs> have an issue with that. <laughs> well, we're not gonna talk about who, who ate whose flavors. Um, <laughs> We all know who tastes better. <laughs> like, nah. Well, you know what she's been up to since we last seen her. Anyway. Oh <laughs> all right. So, of course, we got to get through all the basic stuff. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Better Than Sex Ice Cream. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. All of that good stuff. That way you don't miss anything. Oh, creamy. I don't know if you know. But we're switching stuff up a little bit. And you'll be able to go to www.betterthansexicecream and order one of our subscription boxes. Ooh. So these boxes will come with, um, I believe, either two or four pints of ice cream. Um, it'll be different flavors every month. And then you'll receive you some type of memorabilia, t-shirt, uh, lanyard, um, stickers, uh, action figures, comic oh, book, yes. you know, cookbook. Um, they just, <laughs> you know, you get something else with the box but mm -hmm. it, it will start pushing out subscription boxes so okay. that's a new thing that we've actually started putting together and yes. so look out for that and don't forget to follow all of our social media platforms at better than sex ice cream except for twitter if you want to talk to us directly that's bts ice cream at bts ice cream there you go yes <laughs> and call us up at 304 Talk Sex. Talk Sex. We want opinions. We want sexy conversations. It could totally be anonymous. You could make up a name. But just get your voice out and see what you got. Period. I want to eat. Period. <laughs> so, what do we have today? We got some Bangkok blueberry cheesecake. Ooh. Blue. And we've gotten this in an ice cream sandwich. Hold on, let me try to pick this up. Can it? I'm scared. Right. I'm you know, sly, I think it's too soft. No, it's not that soft actually. An ice cream sandwich is smashed in between, wedged in between two sugar cookies. And it has roasted blueberries mm -hmm. and cheesecake bites in it. I'm excited. So, yeah, this will be the first time you actually try this flavor. I'm not really a big blueberry fan. I like blueberry. I like blueberry muffins and. Yeah, I'm not a blueberry muffin fan. Oh. It's like I'll eat regular blueberries, but I'm not, I'm not like a, ooh, it's blueberry oatmeal, blueberry muffins, blueberry, no. It's pretty good. It is. I love it. It's not like all the blueberry taste that you think it is. It's yeah. like really creamy. It's broken down. I take my time with it. Mm. It's like you have like hints of blueberries and like certain licks, but I mean I licked all the way around. Right. And it's not like a super strong, you know, defeating defeating mm. blueberry taste like it normally would be. Like what's your turn? <laughs> yeah, fucking trying to jump off. All right. Um, so yeah, this is this is definitely really good. If you're a blueberry fan, I would definitely suggest this. I love um, it. I haven't gotten to the cheesecake bites yet, but I'm sure that's what's adding to the sweet flavor. Hopefully, I don't make a mess. This reminds me of so much. It's like the cookie and then the cream in the middle, and then you like it. What does it remind you of? Because we haven't talked in a while. So, what was you? What have, I wasn't going to ask you this. <laughs> I live for these moments. <laughs> I was not going to ask you this time. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, why switch up the routine? Oh no, God. we haven't seen Creamy in a while, so what have you been up to? Well, I just had a birthday. Turn up. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm 25 plus shipping and handling now. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I had a great time. I had a good weekend. I requested off. I went out every single day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And my birthday was Monday. Um, 
I had a lot of humans try to reach out to me. <laughs> and um, a couple calls came through and then some didn't. I believe it's that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of reaching out? Don't be trying to half-ass me a story. Ah, you're too good for that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me give you one. I did get some, some birthday head. I didn't get any sex or nothing. I did like flirt and mingle with people but I got some head on a uh, Saturday I think it was or Sunday and it was okay it wasn't better than someone else that did it but so you don't sound too sure but it was okay I mean I had it before you ever have something and then you get spoiled and then you expect that I ooh ooh <laughs> that was like a cold crispy orgasm right there <laughs> Like, I. Is it brain freeze or the taste buds? Time out. Flag them play. I know that was the ugliest fake, but oh my god. I feel it was pretty sexy. That ice cream just hit my tooth. Ooh. And it was just like a lucky, like just please don't. <laughs> like, well, you know you gotta focus on what you're doing. <laughs> right. Don't do it. Like, when you're having sex, you're like, oh, change your face, because that, that face might be ugly. <laughs> That's how I just was. Like, I'm, I think I'm done with it though. Why? Until I, I find someone that's gonna be like consistent. consistent. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call head headquarters. <laughs> I'm on my head, bitch. <laughs> oh shit! She ain't got I think no I found a cookie right. somewhere or a cheesecake. Okay, so I'm gonna eat oh, this shit. ice cream sandwich with a fucking spoon. Don't judge me. It's a secret. You gotta. I lick it and squeeze it. Obviously. Because I'm like, how come I can't <laughs> cook it and broke? I'm just. But I got a big mouth. I want to see. Because I have to try like all sexy aspects of eating now. Maybe I should try the honeycomb bite. Put my jaw crack. You said it makes toast crunch. I don't see how you've been into that. I've been trying to this whole time and I've been like scared as hell because I don't want to fucking get my tooth cold like I just did. Mm. I've been trying to avoid that the entire time. I have a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny as fuck. Big air thing. <laughs> mm. Speaking of big and B words and all of this blueberry Boner. Bangkok. What? We decided to talk about, well, actually, Creamy, of course, decided to talk about boners today. And I don't mean man boners. I don't mean a normal, you wake up with a stiff dick. No, I mean like... Pipe down, literally. Female boners. <laughs> like, um, we were, we looked and we seen that, you know, our flavor of the day was Bangkok Blueberry Cheesecake. And, oops, there um. we go. And she decided that she wanted to send our conversation around blue walls <clears throat> and the struggles of women being extremely horny and not being able to get off. Oh, this is so good. Mm. It's a shame you can't. You <laughs> I can't together. bite into it. That's why I had to like peel the cookie off and like lick the ice cream and yeah. Was... Oh my god, girl, the Don't cookie made this. Me. I'm sorry. But, okay, definition of blue walls. Blue walls is the opposite of blue balls for women. So, it hurts. Like how blue balls would. I could literally feel my walls, like, damn near touching each other. Like, are you okay over there? I'm okay. And we gonna get some soon. And they wanna hold each other. Then you feel like you go, whoa. Like. And then they try to, and then it's funny because you know it's like, it's like this. Like it's going to close up this way. So your walls is just like almost to the tippy top. And you're like, wait, it's important shit up here. Chill out. <laughs> and then they're like, well, give us some space because we need space. It's like literally, it's worse. It's worse than anything. Now, female boners, we're going to get ours. I don't know about y'all. Y'all can rub one out and... Oh, oh yeah, they know. fucking jack off and be one and done. Mm -hmm. They cool for the day. That's how they start their day off. Now, blue walls ain't going to be satisfied. Bruh, no. Like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. So, my husband just found out that I actually watch porn sometimes. 
And he was like, well, why? It's like, at first he was like, oh, you watch porn? All right, cool. And then he was like, wait, why? And I'm like, well, babe, it's definitely not because you don't satisfy me. Right. It's just that sometimes I like to randomly fucking watch five women getting fucked by 10 men and a room a full girl. of nothing. And you know, it's, it's like, I like watching, like I'll, specifically I'll go into the fucking porn, porn hub or whatever. And I'll type in Brazers Orgy. I don't know why the fuck those women are just so funny to me, but those are like, that's like the best. So I'll just watch that over and over again. I know in real life, my husband's not gonna let me fucking participate in no orgy. I'm not gonna be <laughs> over there <laughs> getting fucked by like four different people with 12 dicks in my mouth. I can't no. fucking do that. Not that I would really want to. I pretty, feel pretty weird in that situation, but I know he's not gonna let it happen. So in order to, you know, fulfill that fantasy, I watch porn like that. <laughs> I mean, shit, he watched Blacks. Well, you ever seen that? I heard about it. See, stupid shit. Fucking sexy ass black men, fucking white girls. And I'm like, bro, you would never have sex with a white girl. He's like, I know, that's why I watch it. Boom. We're, we made, we figured it out. <laughs> but even porn don't satisfy the whole blue wall situation. Mm -hmm. It definitely does it not don't. fucking satisfy. It's like you just be sitting there rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Your fingers ain't long enough to reach the spot you're trying to hit. Sometimes a dick ain't long enough to reach the spot you need to hit. Mm -hmm. It's really a fucking struggle once it gets there. Like, cause I need all types of different types of penetrations. I need you to be sucking on my clit while you playing with my nipples. I need you to be doing all everything at once. Like, if you ain't no contortionist, I need this cookie softer. Then that, I think that's what I needed. I'm just gonna the suck cookie on a little it. bit softer. But I don't want my ice cream to melt, so I'm like, fuck it, let's just go for it. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, I feel you though. It's hard to people don't want to have these conversations. You know what I'm saying? This is a must. We have to talk about what we like, what we don't like. All that jazz. If you don't want to get down to the nitty gritty, don't get down with the committee. I'm cooking. Mm. Where the fuck do she get these grandma sayings from? I'll literally be sitting at home smoking. And I'll be like, I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. Oh my god, I'd be so lonely. <laughs> and then I think about it like, struggle, man. Bad. This ice cream is good inspiration though. It, it really is. This ice cream is fucking delicious. You mm, see, she uh, barely got anything to say in between words. I really don't. She's trying to finish <laughs> that ice cream sandwich. Mm. <laughs> so far, even the milkshake was really, really good. This is my favorite type of dessert. I like the cookie. Like if I was to choke or anything would happen, I'd be okay with it. Except my fate, cause you accept my fate. This was worth it. <laughs> it's good. Mm. It's definitely good. I would have went with a softer cookie for sure. Mhm. Mm the sugar cookie is a good take. I just need it to be a little bit softer. If the sugar cookie was a tad bit softer. It would have been perfect. Like mm. perfect, perfect. And I don't even want like it like a you? mushy soft. I would right. just want it like that. And you know when it touches the ice cream, it's going to get cold. It's going to get it's soft gonna... anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you're just not getting soft fast. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream melting a little bit faster. Oh my God. So, how do you deal with... Okay, so say, for a second, we'll, we'll chime in on you guys. Give you a little taste. What do you do with a man boner? Like, how do you even start off? We get them started, excited, aroused, and then you see the boner and then you just go. Like, you mean to get them to the boner stage or to... Mm -hmm. How do you start the boner? Well, I take his little soft penis. Fuck you! His <laughs> soft, so he just be like... Oh my God. Paper towel. This so he got a little soft penis. Um, oh like, my god. Did this remind me of white chicks? You know that, right? <laughs> it's like, look at the thing you did. This is how y'all lick the little out. thing like, in the eyes. <laughs> and you just <laughs> look at the little guy. That's like, what I do. I, I look that little thing in the eye. 
Yeah, you know, we make eye contact. No, I'm just playing. No, for real though. I was worried. No. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is she for real? This ain't funny no more. <laughs> I've had dreams about you, damn now it. I gotta ask your husband, what the fuck is going on here? Why is she looking oh at a little thing in the eye? Um, no, for real. I, um, in order to get it to that stage, like if it's just soft and I'm just like, eh, I'm horny, let's have sex. I'll just pull it out of his pants and stick the whole thing in my mouth. Eventually it'll start mm -hmm. growing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I like the way it feels to feel mm -hmm. it grow. Ooh. So I'll take it soft and I'll stick the whole thing in my mouth, like from the top to the shaft, whole thing. And then I'll just watch it feel it grow. And once it get too big for my mouth to handle, I'll take my mouth off and I start going. Between you and this cookie, <laughs> um, you ask shit. Right. I'm, I'm, um, yeah. I, she is so damn sexy to me. Like, <laughs> and then her saying that, sweetie baby, honey. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think I can take shit like that. Arms up, arms up. <laughs> No, hell no. I'll never do that again. I'd rather die. Listen, I got a funny story. <laughs> Y'all, I did that in school. <laughs> Fifth grade. I was choking on something. And everybody in the cafeteria, I jump up and I'm choking. I'm thinking people about to care. You know, everybody when the teachers laughed at me. Everybody laughed. <laughs> and then deep down inside, I was like, see, you ain't never going. <laughs> Why you always... No, nobody ever takes me serious. Nobody takes me serious. I've been a joke since birth. <laughs> this is bullshit. I came out of my mom laughed at me. I, yeah. Actually, yeah. At my birthdays, everybody want to reminisce and talk about my childhood. <laughs> like, well, you, they was about to, um, you know, induce labor because you didn't want to come out. Duh, duh, duh. Then all of a sudden, she come back from the hospital and she packing her bag to get ready for them to get rid of you. He was like, nope, I'll come out on my own. <laughs> Oh my God, she literally had me in the waiting room. I was coming out, like I was coming out. And she thought it was so fucking funny. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? Fuck y'all, I'm gonna be serious one day. I'm gonna fuck y'all up one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the glasses and the briefcase. But the bad part is we still not gonna take you serious. Like what movie you about to go shoot for? Cause it's See? Like, a little way too professional. <laughs> and I thought that too, like they're gonna think this is a skit. <laughs> I don't know how, like, fuck it, she about to go it shoot. is what it is. At this point, y'all just going to be laughing at, oh, <laughs> I see important stuff happen to me. <laughs> I think about it, I got baptized, and that shit was funnier than anything in the world. Oh, God, I'm you crying. crying in the name of Jesus. Oh. <laughs> You know, I was always I was always scared to get baptized. I'm not even gonna lie. I was always scared that I was gonna drown. I can't swim, so that's what I'm getting to. <laughs> like, and, and look, I don't trust my dad's side of the family. My grandfather was the pastor, <laughs> and he was just to letting me go underwater, and all I see is this dark figured face. So I'm going under, and I was just like terrified. So I jump up from the, and I go. <laughs> And the whole church heard me. Everybody was cracking up. My mom and them, and they recorded it. They said, "Why are you always ruining your moment?" <laughs> oh my God! No. We be ready to cheer you on, dude. I'm fucking up. Fuck it up all the time. I'll fuck these lashes. Oh man. If I can't see, I'm gonna at least get some cream. K K. You are funny as fuck. Mm. Oh my God! I'm loving this. Yeah, you just fucked cheesecake by I didn't think I would care about blueberries like this, honestly. That's why people gotta widen their horizons. I'm a picky eater, though. I'm very selfish when it comes to those. Yeah, mind. people should widen their horizons. Is that a message? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> oh, you remember that movie? It was a dumpy minute message. I was that person. I was definitely that person. Pop up on the were like, message! Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. No, we childish. We got so off topic. No, but for real though. <laughs> for real though, it's not cream though. Get it though. 
talk to us about it 3046. <laughs> if you anyway. want something for yourself, you got to buy it. And well, our Berry Cock Blueberry conversation. If y'all have any questions or want to <laughs> just comment on anything mm. that we've been talking about today, give us a call at 304 Talk Sex. If you're watching this with anyone, if you're even showing anybody a clip of this, make sure you tell them to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Better Than Sex Ice Cream so that they don't miss it. You guys don't miss any of our giveaways or any of that good stuff or any of our events mm. that we have coming up. See, we're going to box. Hold on. I got to grab a cookie from my cookie. <laughs> she is so <laughs> gross. Mmm. <laughs> I'm sorry you were saying. I'm sorry. See, Creamy's always doing this to me, but she creamed my best friend, so. Oh my she knows gosh. That we have a couple cookies in between us. Your best friend creamed me. Nope. I'm just saying. Nope, you creamed her. She started. You shouldn't have. Look, you were sitting right here. You let us bond and nope. stuff. I told her. I was stuff. like, I was like, <laughs> see, how you come do a shoot and then you go home and you fuck her? Like, what type of shit? And she's like, it wasn't even the same day. So what? It was the same week. <laughs> she needs a whooping. Like, are we still friends? Are we still like, friends. Behind man. Cameras, like, yeah, we. I still love you. Like, don't lie to me. No judgment. No Come judgment. Come on, Miss Celia. We still together, drinking this purple. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment at all. My first time doing Molly, I was, uh, I was at a club somewhere. I was so reckless back in the day. I don't even remember. But we were somewhere downtown, and it was this. Badass. All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you a perfect image. I love imagery. I'm perfect with this. Adrian Baylon, Cheetah Girls. She was cold and she had like high waisted pants, little crop top. She was cute as fuck. Hair curly and wild. I was feeling her. Light makeup, real natural in the face. I was like, damn, she's fine. Then had the nerve to walk up to me and go, want some? And she had it in her finger. And I go, what the fuck is that? She said, Molly and licked it and I licked the fuck out of her. I grabbed her hand from her and licked the fuck out of it. Then I was sucking it and then as I was sucking her finger, I looked up at her to see if I got the okay to kidnap her for a second. She took me. I was gonna take her and she took me. So that's when I was like, bet. So we went a little corner somewhere and ducked off and had our little fun, little public fun. You were nice. horrible. It was nice, it was my first time doing all this. You are so fucking <laughs> At least you get to live out your experiences. You know, I do it, but I be too scared. Like, I don't want to wake up and I don't know what the fuck happened the next, like last night. So, I might as go hide in the house. I'm, mm -mm. I had some, um, I had some, some, some dirty Sprite. Oh, and I don't mean dirty Sprite where it's like lean and, and Sprite. I mean, like, they took a two liter of Sprite. They put lean in it. They put some Zans at the bottom that they let this in, that they let dissolve. They added some like three different types of tequila to it. They added I think some perks. Hold on, let me and let that dissolve down. at the bottom. I want this recipe. And then it's like they shook it. They added some Jolly Ranchers for taste. Mm -hmm. They put that shit in a freezer. Oh, when they pulled it out. It tastes just like pop. Like you could you couldn't tell what it was, no none of that. Like he poured it in a cup and was like, Here, lucky, this is just Sprite, like here, I'm not giving you nothing crazy. This is just Sprite. It was like, here you go. My dumb ass fucking sipped it. I was like Alright, it tastes just like Sprite. I'm good. My dumb ass down that shit. Oh man, it was fucking over. When I say by give me maybe like 20, 30 minutes, mm. I was just sitting in a chair like <laughs> oh, you fucking it up in your head and body though, ain't you? Just sitting there. Mm -mm. Well, it's like, I don't know what mm -mm. I was thinking about. I don't know <laughs> what was on my mind. I just knew at that moment that everything was just moving. Like, so, oh man, they fucked you up. <laughs> That's that's that that's fucked up. I don't know. So ever since then, mad. I've been scared to try shrooms because I've heard some crazy shroom stories. So mm. you're mine. <laughs> with the avatar <laughs> and the flower and the rabbit <laughs> with the tight watch. <laughs> oh, you always got 
an extreme ass story. That's what I'm like. What fucked me up was I really thought I was dead. To wake up with the flower and then go out with my mom and she cooking like shit normal. Like that shit scared the fuck out of me. House looking all extra better than it was. Walls look fresher. I'm just like, am I dead? Like, that shit made me feel like. So I asked her like, what happened without her knowing too much but me looking like I'm tweaking. So I just made her think I was drinking a little bit so she would know something but not everything to excuse my behavior. Cause this is her, her ill, her daughter acting like this and asking all these weird questions. So I'm trying to make it make sense. And I'm like, well, where did the flower come from? She, oh, well, you said someone gave it to you when you was on your way home. And I'm like, damn, I be lying when I'm fucked up too. Like that shit real. I got my back. I got my motherfucking back in front. Cause I did that. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> But Let yeah. me make sure I cover my bases before I get to this. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell oh. myself. I don't want to tell myself no. <coughs> oh my god. I just knew oh. I was dead. I said, oh, I'm dead. Like, I don't want to die like this. I just graduated. <laughs> oh, life is lit when you graduate. That was some of my best sex fun. Some of my best because I wasn't like everybody else. Just popping that coochie everywhere. Plus I was getting some coochie. I was gay I was, when I graduated. So I wasn't getting dick till my senior year. So everybody well, else was just my bad. I ain't getting no Let's dick see. until I ain't getting no dick until I got pregnant with my daughter. Oh wow. Like the year after I graduated. Literally. I fucking graduated June second, twenty thirteen. I got pregnant June twenty something. 2015, I mean 14, mm. I had her ass, I March fucking 2015, Lord. <laughs> she had a scratch that. I'm dead. Cause I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck that night went. That was a long night. Have you ever had blue walls and then took drugs and made it worse? I was just mad at yourself. My, my, bitch, my, why the fuck didn't you say no to that drink? Like, my, <laughs> mad at yourself. Yeah, cause my gun butt will go overboard. I won't know when to stop because it's like you already can't all right it's like I'm be warning myself but then I'll smoke another blunt or pop a pill to try to make me sleepy or something stupid you just make the my words I have a I have a nutting problem okay I'm telling I nut too much I'll be at work or something and I'll just be like well gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> gotta clean up my shit so when I when I get blue walls and like you say, I'll be, you know, influenced and all that. And then I don't know my limits, so I'm more influenced. Honey, I feel like a virgin every time. Like I just, <laughs> every time. The needle without the eye. The shit be tight. I feel like sometimes I got to check to make sure. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> Oh my dumb butt. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel. I better say it's like No! And oh. make sure y'all comment. I want y'all to make sure ball. every week, I want y'all to comment and let us know what flavors you guys love seeing, hearing from, all of that good stuff. Yes. Um, which ones that you don't like seeing all of that yes. good just you know we always we we accept all feedback yes. we Anything accept all the criticism say, so hear it. definitely leave all of that information whether it's on our social media platforms instagram and facebook at better than sex ice cream um you can tweet us at bts ice cream um or you can give us a call at 304 <laughs> that shit hurt i don't like it oh <laughs> but we about to wrap this up before her damn eyelashes pop off and before I piss on myself. Oh my god. She over here funny as fuck right now. Oh man. Anyway, don't forget to look out for our, for our subscription boxes and all that good stuff. For any um, information on memorabilia, any deals that we have going on on our Una's good ass ice cream, which yes. we have Bangkok blueberry with the uh, cheesecake bites. Bangkok. Yes. Blueberry Bangkok, cheesecake. Blueberry, blueberry cheesecake. cheesecake. There we go. 
Yes. Um, <laughs> you oh, can get God. more information on that shipment and everything like that on www.betterthansexicecream. Oh, and we're out. I'm your favorite flavor, G Spot Grape. And I'm the <laughs> second flavor. Cream me, caramel. KK. And this was your mukbang Monday, Monday, baby. <laughs> we out of here.